fucking nightmare, you! Welcome back to another episode of Live With, brought to you by Yamamoto Nutrition. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today's guest is uh, IFBB Pro Nathan DeAsher, our good friend who we're going to see this weekend in Cologne, Germany. Welcome. Hi, Dave. Thanks for having me on again, you know. I appreciate it. Well, you know, you're back in England now. You're not, you're not in Kuwait. You're relaxing with the family, and uh, you'll be traveling over, taking a nice little puddle jumper over to Germany uh, this coming weekend for a huge, huge expo. Uh, you were there last year, I believe, weren't you? No, uh, I, missed last, I missed last year. So oh, you were there when I was there, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that was uh, 215. 15, right, yeah. You and I, I remember I made Nathan pose for me like in, in uh, like right in the middle of the expo and there was like <laughs> 40 people around us watching. This is before anyone knew who you are. This is before your pro debut even. And, uh, I appreciate everything since then as part of work, you know? Yeah. Now, you, you're, uh, you signed a, a contract uh, recently. Congratulations with Yamamoto Nutrition. A uh, huge company out of Italy, and they're going to be uh, having a very big booth at the uh, FIBO Germany. It's kind of like their launch party. Tell us a little bit about how that connection came about and what we we should expect to see this weekend. Uh, to be honest, Dave, um, I came about them briefly, you know, um, just, just in promotion online and stuff. But I didn't exactly know who they were, you know. Um, then I got a phone call, or an email originally, and then a phone call of one guy saying, um, Basically, they're interested, you know. I had no sponsor, so I thought, so I'll see what I'll see what it is. And I um, basically I looked them up myself because obviously I didn't want to sign for a brand that I didn't believe in and that the supplements weren't what they said they were, you know. Um, so I told them to send me some products out and I can see for myself, and basically just like go from there. But uh, the products they gave me are awesome, you know. Uh, I stick by the brand. I, I, I sign with them because basically I believe in the supplements and I believe in the product. What they're producing, and uh, for me, that's what it's about. You know, I want to be with the company for the, for, for longevity. And if, you, if people know that I'm a man of my way, then the product supplements are good. That's the main thing. Now this weekend you're going to be in Germany at the booth all weekend. It's, first of all, I just want to warn you: uh, you're going to be exhausted when the weekend's over because it's it's a three day show. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that place is freaking mobbed, as you know. You're going to have a million people wanting to take pictures and pose with you. Uh, are you prepared for this mentally? Uh, to, 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 be, to be honest, uh, everyone's after a role, you know. No one's after me, so I can just blend, I can just blend in with the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand a word you said, but it sounded funny, so that, that's good enough. Uh, <laughs> now, I know you're going to be at the booth with uh, your teammate there, Ruli Winkler, who's also a Yamamoto athlete. Uh, uh, are you guys well actually is he still in Kuwait? Uh right now no. Um Roly is in uh Tyler South. Yeah. But um he will be returning to Kuwait, I think, uh sometime early May, I think. Okay. All right, so you'll be heading out there for the whole weekend. We'll have to maybe we'll grab a bite to eat with you Saturday night. Johnny and I will be there for one day. We'll be there all day Saturday. We'll be at the Yamamoto booth. We'll be covering it. We'll be running around doing all our interviews like we always do. And then we're leaving Sunday morning. So Saturday night is my, is my window of opportunity to, to spend some time with uh, the guys that I, uh, I, I like to hang out with. So maybe you can come to dinner. I want to get Roman Fritz to come to dinner with us and, uh, and relax a little bit on Saturday. Dave, as long as you're paying, I'll be, <laughs> it's okay. You're rolling in the money now because you got a great contract. You should be treating all of us. I guess you're the one that comes your house in Florida, you know? <laughs> How does it feel to be making a living now from bodybuilding, finally? Uh, to be honest, I never, I never expected it, you know? Uh, finally, it's happened. It's, it's good because now I can put all my effort, all my time and attention just into growing, you know? And uh, just basically now I know that my bills are paid. That's the main thing. So I can just focus on bodybuilding and just focus on growing. Now, Nathan, uh, we we've saw earlier today uh, Bader Badai uh, released on his uh, Instagram account a picture with him and Rami, and he said Rami's officially back with the Camel Crew. Uh, what? How did that all come about? And uh, you know, is he back in the gym training with all you guys? Uh, I don't. Basically, I'm I'm out here right now. I don't know what's going. But uh, 
I know Rami, I know Rami has been back with uh, the team now since I think maybe beginning of the year. I think uh, I'm not too sure. Right. But Rami just Rami trains with himself mainly. You know, he likes to focus on himself and uh, he, he has his own style of training and uh, just trains by himself. Obviously, those guys train with him now and then, but like you, you, you've seen him yourself, you know, he's a freak. So I can't keep up with him. I just, I just, I just do my own thing. Is he <laughs> strong? Is Rami strong? Uh, Dave, he's a freak, you know. But everything he does is, is nice and controlled and slow and just, it's just freaky. It's too heavy for me. <laughs> what, what, like, what? Give, what is one of like his impressive lifts that like you're, you're amazed with? Like I just like. I see him squatting like seven, seven plates a side, eight plates a side, for like, <laughs> but like with ease. You know, he's going up and down, up and down, and I'm looking at him like, when I'm doing five or six, I'm at least shaking. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that that's called genetics. You can't you can't compete with that. Although you've got some pretty crazy genetics yourself. So wh when are we going to see you on stage in 2017? Uh. Basically, my plan was to hold out to the Olympia, you know. Uh, really? The, feed, the feedback I got, I wasn't big enough. Um, I had the I had the lines, I had the condition, but I just wasn't big enough. Um, so I basically trying to bang on maybe approximately five kilo, six kilo, um, and just come back to the Olympia. But if I if I'm ready for uh, for the Arnold Asia, if I can get an invite, then I'd gladly. I'd love to be there, you know. Yeah, I'm sure they'll give you an invite because, uh, you know, they want the best talent out there, and they have trouble fielding that show anyway because it's so far away. But uh, uh, you like that show? That I, I, you know, I like Hong Kong. It's it's a great city, and I think that unfortunately more bodybuilders should try to do that show. I'd rather go there personally than Brazil, to be honest with you, because I've been to Brazil a lot already, and I, I think that if people have never experienced Hong Kong, I mean, you really got to get there at least once. I'd love to go with Dave, you know. Uh, to be honest, doing the Arnold's has always been, since I've seen pro, has always been a bigger dream than me than stepping on the Olympia stage. That's for my, personally, myself, you know. I'd yeah. love to do the Arnold's. Uh, but uh, I have a plan for next year, and uh, soon that'll be un un unveiled, you know. All right. Um, what else is going on? Do you have anything? Uh, how, when you come back home, you know, after being in Kuwait for like months and months, um, is it yeah. weird? Do you feel like like you don't belong there? I mean, how does your family treat you? Is it is it kind of like a little strange? No, it's, it's like I've never got. It's like I've never gone. You know, I just it's, even though I'm being great full time, I just treat it like work. That's it. You know, I'm just there to do a job, and that's it. Um, the family are made up to see me, but even like when I see my even my close friends and my training partners and stuff, it's just like I've never left. You know, and. I get to I get to train my old way. I get to basically like lift heavy, uh, do heavy benches, just some things that I'm not allowed to do in Kuwait, which I enjoy, you know. Well, how come they don't let you lift heavy in Kuwait? Uh, they're not into if the guys in Kuwait not really into bench pressing heavy because it's, it's a little bit dangerous. But I just like bench. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's the old, old fashioned thing. You know, when like the guys go, "Oh, what can you bench?" You know, in four or five, five or five. Whether it's an ego thing, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, it, big benchers always have big chests in my in my book, so uh, it can't be too bad for you. Now, you go from Kuwait, where you're living in like a hotel, essentially. You have your food brought to you. Um, you have a trainer come and, and train you every single day. And now you go back to your home in England, where you got to motivate yourself to get to the gym. you got to cook all your meals, or at least have your wife help you cook your meals. It, it, is it become more cumbersome to be a bodybuilder after you've gotten all that you know star treatment in Kuwait uh Dave to be honest I get the same back home <laughs> <laughs> oh you do you lucky bastard <laughs> I'm probably as lazy back home as I'm I'm in Kuwait you know the only thing I probably can't do is uh have a few more power naps because the children go crazy you know <laughs> Well, Nathan, I, we love talking to you. We're going to see you this weekend. We'll interview you at, interview you at the booth, I'm sure, with Ruli. Uh, we'll find out everything that's going on over there. I'm sure there'll be some drama in Germany. There always is. And uh, have a safe flight over there, and we'll see you on Saturday. Thanks, guys. See you Saturday, baby. Appreciate it. You know? Thanks for having me on. All right. That's going to take us to the end of another episode of Live With, brought to you by Yamamoto Nutrition. 
I'm Dave Palumbo, and we'll see you next time.